How do you think uh, Derek Ling is going to go as the new Kilkenny manager? Yeah, um, hopefully very well. It'll be great to see Kilkenny back on top um, next year. Um, they've been very close last year, so ultimately the players are there. And maybe Derek can bring out some some improvements in the whole team that'll just get him over the over the edge. Um, it's an exciting year for him. Um, I know there's lots of players in on the panel there now as they, as they begin training and stuff. So um, they'll be all pushing to try and make the, the panel for the year and and see if they can get Kenny back to the top and hopefully Derry can be the one to lead them there. Is there any concern about you know, the likes of Mikey Carey, James Maher and there's one or two more that have uh, that are probably going to be away next year? Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to know. Um, they're, they're young, all right, so they'll be a bit of a loss, but... And there's plenty of hurlers in Kilkenny, there's plenty of lads willing to step up and make their mark. And if they can find a couple of more that will slip in there and improve the team, well then I suppose it won't make a difference. But um, it's hard to judge this time of the year, you just have to wait and see how we end up. Mm. And uh, just in terms then of Brian Cody leaving, it's quite a legacy. Obviously he'd be frustrated the last number of years, didn't return in All-Ireland, but still it doesn't really affect his legacy. Yeah, certainly. He's, he's, he's been there a long time and he's put got a buckle load of victories to match that and, and ultimately probably never be matched again so um he's left you kenny in a good place and i suppose he would have liked to get maybe another couple since 2015 but it didn't happen but that's how challenging it is and how hard it is to win these all Ireland. it's not a simple thing to do but um he certainly left a, a serious legacy behind him yeah and do, do you think there's anything that uh, like you know the, the puck out situation last year in the, the final against limerick the fact that the team was pushed up so far and then those huge pockets of space were left on either wings was very difficult for the backs. Like, Would you have had, had any frustration watching on and seeing that and it not being changed? Yeah, I suppose. Well, ultimately, that's that's the decision that they went with. That's the the, the style they wanted to play. And, and as I said, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If that you think is the best idea and if it worked on the day, it would be a genius move. If it didn't, then there's, you're open to questions. But... And that's the way it panned out. Ultimately, Limerick are, are the champions and, and, and then we're not. So um, there's always going to be questions, marks and, and things analysed. But um, that's the decision they made and you have to live by it. If we put the gun to the head, do you think Limerick will do the four in a row next year? Um, listen, I, I'd never back against you, Kenny. I'd like to say you, Kenny will do it. So um, the answer to that question then would be no. But listen, they're a serious team. They're a strong team. They'll be there, thereabouts, there's no doubt about that. But hopefully, hopefully, Kilkenny will be number one. So then, just ask you about the Kilmacud Croaks game. You were, you know, well on top in the first half, got the first three points in the second half. What happened then that, you know, they came back within the score of you? Yeah, I think maybe the first half flattered us a bit. Um, we got some scores, some great scores, and, and it's in the first three points in the second half, and then maybe just switched off. But it's such a lesson and a lesson for anyone that plays Hurling when, when you're playing these teams, they're so good that, and especially when you're playing the Leinster campaign, they have to win in so many games to get to there. At some stage, they've been down and they've kept going and they've won a game. So it's not new to them to, to keep going in games. And So we maybe dropped off a little bit. We, we just could, couldn't win any ball, couldn't win anything. And they just kept coming in waves and waves. And we, it was happened so fast, it was hard to stop it. But um, that's what, when you switch off, game of Hurling can change so fast. I suppose faster than any game that I can think of it can change. So uh, when you drop that for a second, it can be very hard to switch it back on. So you need to just keep going at a high level.